the fun does not stop for this stock market. Even when we're supposed to go down or sell off just a little bit, it seems like we just don't go down. So how do we keep this fun to continue? Let's go to the video. Let's start off with first. What, is, what do we believe is going to happen? In the overall market, we believe short term, we are neutral. Intermediate term, which is the sweetest spot for most people to get involved in, is the next three to six months, we are bullish. And also long term, we are bullish. We have been rocking it since the beginning of the year on the long side and keep continuing to do a very good job. Before we get started, a disclaimer, the information provided on our channels for educational and informational purposes only is not intended to be a substitute for professional financial advice. Protect your capital by all means. Make your own system. Do your own research. Take your own responsibility. This is our system, and we are building it out. We are invested in most of the securities that we recommend on this channel, but most of these securities are large tech companies to medium-sized companies from the S&P 500 to the QQQs to the MDYs. Let's continue further. We're going to build a weight of evidence today and bring it why we're still going to go higher. As you know, we are a top-down approach. We're looking at the main picture and then breaking it down into the individual securities. We will be telling you some trading edges like phases, like consistency, like trading above the moving averages. We will also be telling you about what is the probability of succeeding in these days. All right, so let's get straight to the point. Overall market, what do we think of the overall market? The overall market is very powerful. It seems to be moving upwards. There are a few glitches in some of the sectors, but the sectors and the securities and the overall market that we've been picking of the QQQs and what we call the magnificent seven of Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, Tesla, Google, NVIDIA, and Meta all seem to be doing very well. We've also picked some other securities recently that have had 40 to 50% returns in 15 days. So the fun continues. We are a little worrisome short term which we're going to go over some of the reasons why, mostly because of market sentiment. But we still believe what you should be looking at for most people is the intermediate term, three to six months. And whatever you do, do not short into this market. I know there will be a great hmm, want for traders or short-term traders to short into Tesla or to Netflix. We do not advise that. We're in fact maybe going to advise to jump into it if we can get somewhat of a pullback till Wednesday. Okay, so let's go over. As you know, my investment strategy, we are a data-driven approach to maximize success. We use data, rule-based system. We are top-down approach. We give you probabilities of success. Furthermore, we use risk management and stop loss every single security that we have out there. We're considering multiple sources of evidence and analytics data driven. We're building a system and using a weight of evidence. We're following a disciplined approach that would guide your decision-making process. More importantly, we are consistent. We are not changing day to day. In fact, you will find our videos a little bit boring because every time we will be using the same indicators and be telling you the same story over and over again. So let's start this same story over again. Where are we in the different phases? Right now, 62% of the S&P 500 securities are in an uptrend, a growth phase. 74% are in um, the NASDAQ 100, a growth phase. Very positive and bullish, which a change from last week. So this is a very bullish sign which we like a lot and showing you the strength of what is happening here. Let's just take the QQQs. As, you, as we told you since January 18th, we are bullish. We put in for the long-term investors on January 18th of this year at 284, and the current price on Friday was 379.07, which is a 33% gain. Every time this security 
ETF has been dropping. We have been buying on the dips and nothing has changed. Why are we buying on the dips? We are intermediate and long-term bullish on the market, which will give you more advice in a few more seconds or more reasons why. The stock is in an uptrend. It's trading above the moving averages. We've told you it's all about technology. It's all about AI companies. Every time there's a short-term pullback, which we believe there will be, we are buyers on it. Every time this number hits 100, we are sellers or taking some of our positions off the table intermediate and rebuying back at zero. Let's continue further. What is a little worrisome for us is, at least for the short term, is at the VIX. Now, the VIX are not historically low levels, but it is at low levels and there is a lot of euphoria in the market. Also, as you know, the VIX works opposite the market. So you see our number at zero. We are expecting this to go upwards, which the market goes lower, which there's more of a probability short term we are going to get a pullback. This pullback might be small. This pullback might be 1%, 2%, and then go up 4%. But there will be a pullback to work off some of these overbought sold sections. Now, again, for our short term indicator, the numbers are hitting close to 100. We did not put a bearish sign here. Because we don't want to give any indication that you should short into this market, even though there will be a pullback, because we are trading above the moving averages and the phases are higher. We are following a distant approach for our short term, medium term, and long term and exit swing signals. You can see that again, these numbers are very high, which increases the probabilities of a short term pullback. But after that, we will go back up higher. Now, if you look at our indicator for components overbought and oversold. About seven, eight days ago, we told you this number was at 25. And then it, now it's at 78. Of course, right now we're saying, whoa, let's take some profits off the table here because this number is not going to 100 without taking a pullback. And when you watch these videos and you see this number go down to 25 again, you can buy it for the short term, for the intermediate term, and the long term. Get ready for the pullback. It's coming. As you know, the Magnificent Seven are the heaviest stocks we've been investing. We invest in 10 different companies in our portfolio, trading and investing. And the majority are the Magnificent Seven. And on pullbacks, we will be buying more. What are some worrisome signs? Our market sentiment, double A, all the retail people, all the professionals believe that this market is going up higher. Put call options. It is also very bearish. What are some of the reasons why we're so bullish? The intermediate term, the presidential election cycle, the third year of any president in there, Republicans or Democrats. And I am not a Republican. I am not a Democrat. I hate them both equally. But the third year, it's very good. Biden will not sink the market. They will keep this market up. That's what they usually do. And the Republicans will do the same thing also. Remember, we are just looking at the evidence. Also, a remarkable track record when the S&P is down 20% and then jumps up 20%, look at it in other years. And this is following to suit. So what do we have to tell you? We have to tell you, get ready. This market, which you think will not happen, will go up higher. The sweet spot is the intermediate term. The easy spot for you is the intermediate term. Just wait the short term because we will have a slight pullback. And this slight pullback may not be what you're expecting all the way down, especially in bull markets. The pullbacks are very low and then it explodes higher. We feel we are in a bull market for the next at least three months and maybe six months. Yes, we are boring. Yes, since January 18th, we've been selling you the same thing. No, we are not changing our opinion because we, we are at overbought levels. We will go higher. Remember, do your homework. Remember, study your evidence. Remember to talk to a financial advisor. Our trading edge is analytics, math, and technical analysis. The probability of this happening probabilities we're getting a pullback to work off these numbers. But the probabilities are more in favor that we are going up higher um, in the intermediate and probably the long term. You know the catchphrase, study it, 
analyze it, adapt it. Peace.